In this lesson, we're going to be talking about simple interest. So I want you to imagine that you were trying to start your own business. And in order to start this business, you needed 100 Rand. And I'm using South African currency here, but it could just as easily be dollars or yen. The currency doesn't matter, but um, the point is you need 100 Rand to start your business, but you don't have that. So you go to your local bank and you ask your bank to loan you the 100 Rand. And of course, since it's a loan, the idea is that at the end of some period of time, you are going to pay back the bank the money that you owe them. So let's say the bank agrees to do this and they say that they want the money back after one year. So at the end of the year, you are going to have to pay the bank back the 100 Rand that you borrowed from them. So to start off with, the bank gives you the 100 Rand and after one year, you are going to pay the bank back that 100 Rand. Now in this transaction, what is in it for the bank? The bank is going to be out 100 Rand for an entire year. Plus, they're going to take on an additional risk because they don't know that you're going to be able to pay them back after the one year. If something happens to you or if your business fails, there is a chance that you might not be able to pay them back that money. So the bank is taking on some risk in doing this in addition to being out that money for an entire year. So what is in it for a bank to do this transaction? Well, what happens is that the bank is going to charge an additional amount of money that you are going to have to pay back at the end of your term. So at the end of the year, the bank is going to charge an additional amount of money on top of the money that you borrowed from them. And this money is known as interest. So this money, in a sense, acts as profit for the bank because the bank is not only going to get back the 100 Rand that you borrowed from them, they're also going to get back an additional amount, which is known as interest. And this is the incentive for the bank to make this transaction because they're going to gain back some additional profits in the form of interest. And that is what interest is. It is just the additional money that you are going to pay on top of the money that you borrowed initially. Now this initial money that you borrowed or the initial amount that was loaned out to you also has a special name. And the special name for that is principal or principal amount. So the principal amount is just the term that we use to describe the money that was initially loaned out or the money that you initially borrowed. So in this case, the 100 grand is our principal. That is how much we are borrowing from the bank to begin with. And then at the end of the term, in this case, you and the bank agreed that after one year, you are going to pay the money back. So the term is one year in this case. At the end of that one year, you are going to be paying back the principal. And in addition to the principal, you are going to be paying back interest and this is what is in it for the bank otherwise it wouldn't make sense for them to agree to do this so the interest is the extra amount that you pay on top of your principal in order to make this transaction worthwhile now the interest is usually going to be expressed as an interest rate and you are going to see it as a percent per annum and per annum is just a fancy word for per year. So whenever you see per annum, or it might be abbreviated as PA, that just is short for per annum, that means per year. So you are going to see your interest expressed as some percentage per annum. And that is what you are going to have to pay back in addition to the principal of 100 Rand. So let's say in this example, the bank told you that the interest was 4% per annum. What does that mean? So what that means is that at the end of the one year, you are going to be paying back the 100 Rand plus 4% of 100 Rand per year that you are keeping that money. And since we've agreed with the bank that we are only going to keep it for one year, at the end of that one year, we are paying them back the money 
that means that it is just going to be 4% since this is expressed per year and we are only keeping it for one year. So what is 4% of 100? You can calculate that as 0 0.04, this is another way to express 4% of 100 rand, which is 4 rand. So in this case, we are going to be paying back 100 rand, which is our principal, plus 4 rand, which is our interest. So in total, we are going to have to pay the bank 104 rand at the end of that one year. And that is what simple interest is. It is going to be an additional amount of money that you pay on top of your principal that is calculated as a percentage of your principal. It's a percentage of the initial amount of money that you borrowed or that was loaned out to you. Now let's say instead of agreeing that after one year you would pay that money back, the bank told you that they want that money back after two years. How would we calculate that in this case? So let's start out by writing down our principal. Our principal was 100 rand. And let me make a note that this is our principal amount. That is the money that we borrowed from the bank. And now after two years, the bank is going to want the principal back. And in addition to the principal, we are going to have to pay the bank back some amount of interest. And in this case, it was 4% of simple interest per annum, which again is a fancy word for per year. So how are we going to calculate that in this case? So the total amount that we are going to be paying the bank at the end of this two-year term is going to be our principal, of course, plus our 4% interest per annum. So we are going to take 0 0.04, which is 4% of our principal, our 100 grand principal. And if we just stopped here, which is what we did in our last calculation, that would be the amount of interest we would owe after one year, since it is 4% per year. So what we have to do in this calculation is we need to multiply this by two. We have to multiply it by the number of years we are keeping that money. That is going to give us the total amount that we owe after the end of that two year term. So it's going to be our principal in addition to 4% of our principal for two years. And that is going to come out to 100 grand plus 4% of 100 is four, four times two is eight. So eight rand is going to be our interest at the end of the two years. So in total, we are going to have to pay 108 rand. So let's try and put what we have just done in terms of a formula that we can use to apply to any example for any set term, whether that's one year, two years, or 10 years. So we know that the amount that we are going to have to pay back, which I'm gonna abbreviate as A, is going to be equal to our principal, of course, because we have to pay back what we initially borrowed. And in addition to our principal, we know we're going to have to pay some interest. And in our case, the way that we calculate our interest is by taking our interest rate, we multiply that by our principal in order to get the percentage of that principal, and we have to multiply that by the number of years because our interest rate is going to be expressed per year. So we need to multiply it by the number of years in order to get our total amount over that amount of years. So we can simplify this formula as the total amount that we need to pay back at the end of our term is going to be, well, we can see that we have our principal here plus our interest rate times our principal times number of years. Principal is going to show up twice in this equation. We have our principal here and we have our principal here. So we can factor out our principal amount. So here we have our principal amount. We are factoring this principal out. And if we factor principal out of this equation, 
we're going to have one over here where we initially had principal. So this will be one plus our interest rate, which I'm going to abbreviate as an I for interest rate times our number of years, which I'm going to abbreviate as N. So N is our number of years and I is our interest rate. And that is going to be how we can simplify our formula. And if you're confused about this formula, you can just expand it out and you'll see that when you expand this, we're going to get our principal multiplied by one, which is just our principal, plus our principal times the interest rate times the number of years. So that is what we get when we expand this out. And if you notice, this is exactly what we have up here. Our total amount that we owe is our principal plus our interest rate times our principal times the number of years. That is exactly what we have down here. So this formula right here is going to be the formula that you are going to use to calculate simple interest. And you are going to be using this formula many, many times. It is often referred to as the A pin formula. You can see here we have our A, here we have our P, and this is our N. So it's often referred to as A pin. And usually the way that you see it, principal is not going to be written out as a full word here. They're going to abbreviate principal as P. So actually the form in which you are going to see this equation is A is equal to P times one plus I N. So this is the formula that you are going to be using. A pin, that is how I like to remember it and most people will remember it that way. But if you think about this logically, it makes a lot of sense because we know that the amount that we're gonna to have to pay back is just our principal plus any interest. And this is how we are going to calculate our interest. So all you have to do is either remember this formula or you can just break it down in a logical way and you will get your same answer. And if any of this is confusing to you, in the next video, we're gonna go over many different examples where we're going to use this formula and at the end of that, it should be very clear.